Thanks. Yeah, Amanda and Mark, this was part of a five year long study by the so called unreinforced masonry policy committee, which today presented their findings to the Seattle City Council. And as you can see on this map, color coded all around the city, there are many areas of concern in the event of an earthquake. Look around near City Hall and you see change. Those new steel angles, small rosettes, reinforcing parts of old Seattle. It's like an Esqually type of event. But a new city uh, survey says there is allow. not enough of it. <laughs> to avoid more images like what we saw during the Nisqually quake in 2001. That approximately 700 of those buildings have no visible sign of retrofit. A council briefing today. That's why this is an urgent um, uh, issue for us. The committee showed a list of buildings of concern, buildings with unreinforced masonry. They include clusters of the city and schools listed as critical due to vulnerability from earthquake damage. I would say that the public schools though certainly have done a really good job of addressing them uh, through their uh, building excellence programs. John Su was a principal engineer on the project and says it's an effort to push the council to draft an ordinance to creatively fund what could be a billion dollars in public and private fixes. It's a very expensive uh, uh, process you have to go through. It's difficult. It's we say it's worth it. Yet the alarming list shows schools ranging from Holy Names Academy to Lowell Elementary of the Seattle School District as critical. The prior says it retrofitted in the late 90s and the Seattle School District said today it did work at Lowell in 2014. The study does, however, highlight what has been a decades long concern with little mandated action. <laughs> And with the prediction a big one will happen sooner rather than later, there is a need for more reinforcements. And again, those critical listed buildings are critical because of the potential threat to them, not because of the status of their repairs. The Seattle School District told me today it wanted to stress it has done work on the 21 schools listed in this report, and they believe they are safe as it stands right now in terms of the standards in the city of Seattle. But you can look at all of this for yourself. Our John Goff on our website at king5.com has gone through all the data, looked at the buildings which are listed critical. You can see them point around on the screen for yourself. You can also add in the high risk and medium risk areas throughout the city. You will notice there are some clusters down in the Pioneer Square area. There is also a cluster up in the University District and in Old Ballard as well. These are areas which have been slide prone in quakes past. All of that on our website, king5.com. Mark and Amanda.